when it comes time to buy a swimming pool pump for your pool. A lot of people take an, a, an approach which could land you in trouble. If you take the what I call the Tim the Toolman Taylor approach, you go out and you buy the biggest horsepower pump you can afford, because bigger is better, right? One of the things I want you to look at when you're buying a swimming pool pump is the suction side of your pump. So what you're looking for specifically, what size pipe do you have here? Now in my configuration, this one is a two inch pipe and this one is an inch and a half pipe. It's important that you know what you have. And a lot of people might look at this and go, I don't know, I, I tried to measure it. It was hard to tell whatever. It, you don't, it's not really inch and a half to two inch. In fact, if you were to measure the outside diameter there, this one, the inch and a half pipe actually measures two inch. This two inch pipe measures two and a half inches. So that, that might help you to figure out what you've got, but it's, an, it's significant here. We need to know most of the new pumps on the market and all of the big pumps on the market. So anything more than 1.5 horsepower, I mean, really, you need to have two inch as your minimum. I get a lot of people sending me questions about, you know, I just installed this new pump. I've got inch and a half plumbing lines. Uh, the pumps making funny noises, shaking around. Sounds like there's rocks inside of it. What's going on? It's starving for water. Inch and a half pipe is minimally adequate. Even two inch pipe is minimally adequate for the size of, of the pumps that are on the modern day market. You know, one horsepower, two horsepower, three horsepower. That's what's common these days. And you could use two and a half inch, three inch, four inch, even six inch suction and return lines on pumps that powerful. We use inch and a half and two inch. It's very limiting. If you're shopping for a pool pump, the first thing I want you to do is go outside and look at, look at the suction side of your current pump installation, determine what size plumbing you have and how many suction lines you have. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.